Uh, this is from Derek. Okay. Um, and uh, Derek you, Elliott. Derek Elliott, you might know from uh, uh, our collaboration with the uh, the helicopter, the yeah. f- the first flight of the helicopter. He's a wizard at animating. He's oh man, beautiful, beautiful rendering work, beautiful animating right. work. He's also an, a trained industrial designer. Okay. He's he's got some really nice projects. So uh, anyway, he asks for someone. Uh, to make an impact in a creative field, they often need to specialize. In this world where industrial designers are deemed jacks of all trades and masters of none, what creates an excellent industrial designer? Of all the skills an industrial designer may possess, what do you see as some interesting, valuable combinations? Huh. Okay, so Derek's essentially asking, like, industrial designers are supposed to be able to kind of culminate all their skills into what like i don't know he says masters of none are we not masters of design though i think the the thing about design is that it takes a A lot of of other things yeah a bunch of other things Hmm. like it's like you're you're like a a light artist you're a light scientist you're a light uh anthropologist you're right you know you're you're sort of all of these things a light sculptor you know yeah, I guess that makes sense, huh? Yeah, we're we're basically um, uh, the diet of careers. We're we're. <laughs> and so, so what skills does industrial designer need to possess to bring something interesting to the table? Yeah, I I don't know. I think maybe you do have to. I, here's what I would say. Okay, I, I would say figure out what part of design you're passionate about. Whether that's sketching, whether that's like making or executing maybe your idea person maybe your research person person mm-hmm. and really focus on that right and build that as your core value as an id yeah uh, that makes sense because because when i think about it um especially you think about consulting studios and things like that where you know they'll they might might have a team of industrial designers where one person is mainly on the research and one person's mainly on the conceptual side yeah and one person mainly mainly on the cad side um and maybe that maybe that's how it works maybe that's not how it works but i think when you have that strong i guess uh, element to your skill set i think that can make you attractive to employers right yeah i mean i kind of think about like the t shape People talk about the T, T-shaped designer, where, you know, the top of the T is like a broad skill set of things you do, mm. and the, the the long part of the T is that one core skill that you have, whether that's sketching or, you know, 3D modeling or whatever it is. Yeah, and what about the three dots above the T? What? Three dots above the T? Yeah, those are silent. What kind of what kind of language are you reading, James? I don't I don't know what you're reading, Nick, but I read all the time. Um, but uh, yeah, what do, you, I don't, what do you think, James? Well, I mean, I think that um, I think that there there is a need with industrial designers. I feel like visualization is is a uh, is a big thing. Being able to communicate your ideas. I think that's kind of like a core skill for sure. Yeah. Like if you don't have that, like, what do you do? Yeah, I'm not sure, but but I think. I mean, is it visualization or is it just communication? Like, I, I think of designers as people who are able to consolidate a bunch of information into a palatable form, mm. you know? So, uh, I mean, that's often what we have to do is we have to take in all this information about materials and about usability and about, um, you know, whatever. We have to take in... All of these, all of these disparate pieces right. of information, and consolidate them into a form, and like synthesize it, right? Synthesize it, huh? I yeah, I mean, maybe it's maybe the answer to Derek's question is that yes, we are the jack of all trades in the sense that we take all these things, but we're not masters of none. We're just synthesizers of these many. Things. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Synthes- we're synthesizers. Yeah, I, lo- I like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We are teenage engineering synthesizers. Mm. Yeah, great company. Oh man, the best. But uh, but yeah, I um I think I think as long as you can uh, can communicate that synth that synthesizing, because like a graphic designer is definitely you know uh, like 
measured on their ability to take a lot of information and make it understandable. Right. You know, so I think that um, if you can communicate your idea, your synthesis of, of, of all these things to somebody and convince them of that, I think that's a very powerful skill. Right. And whether that comes through sketching visualization or modeling visualization or, you know, uh, or even just research. Um, I For think, sure. You know, all of that just has to be understandable. It's a lot about communication, synthesis and communication. Okay. Yeah, I like that answer. That's good. That's much better than my answer, James. Thank the, you. The T, the T, the T answer is a horrible answer. It's just so so we're done. All right. I don't like tea. I prefer coffee. <laughs> I'm a coffee guy too. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for sending that in, Derek.